In this demonstration, you will learn how to create a pull request. Let's switch to Visual Studio. We still work with the user Thomas, and now we want to create a pull request to merge this feature Coffee Shop Commands branch into the master branch. When you look at the history of this branch, you can see that it is two commits ahead of the master branch. We have implemented the Coffee Shop Commands on this branch. Now let's go to Team Explorer and let's create a pull request. So let's click here on Pull Requests to navigate to the Pull Requests page. In the previous clip, we have installed the Pull Requests for Visual Studio extension. Let's click here on New Pull Request and now you can see we can create the pull request directly in Visual Studio because of the pull requests for Visual Studio extension. Here we see that we want to create a request to pull the feature coffee shop commands branch into the master branch. Then we can enter a title and a description. Let's change this title here to handle coffee shop commands. And let's use the same for the description. And let's write here in addition and introduce command handlers. Now you can select here reviewers. So let's just type in here Julia and now you can select here Julia developer as she is also part of that project in Azure DevOps. You could also select here work items if you use Azure DevOps to manage your project. Then down here you can see the changes that you have made in your feature branch. As you can see this comparison is against the master branch. When you click on the program CS file, you just see your local program CS file. But with the pull requests for Visual Studio extension comes also the comparison view that you can turn on with this little button. So let's click this button in the toolbar. Now you see on the left side the program CS file from the master branch and on the right side the program CS file of the feature coffee shop commands branch that is part of our pull request. This means now that you can go through the code changes of your pull request with this comparison view locally on your machine. So you could show it to another developer before you finally create the pull request. So here in the program CS file you could scroll down for example and you could show that you have introduced here the command handlers. You can also look at the changes in the other files. But as these files were all added the comparison makes not much sense because every code line in those files is new. So let's turn here off the comparison view. Now let's go back to the Team Explorer, let's scroll up and let's click here on Create to create the pull request. Now you can see we have successfully created the pull request handle coffee shop commands. Now let's switch to the user Julia as she has to review this pull request.